other coders, do you feel like you still can't code despite all those money and hours invested in coding tutorials and courses? If so, then this video is for you. Watch until the end to understand how to get out from this mental trap. All right, so you want to become a developer. You spent all those weeks trying to master coding, but you feel like you still don't know how to code. However, you're not alone. It is the most significant struggle I have gone through in the early days of my career. When you finish another course, but don't feel ready to code on your own, you drop a hundred dollars on a bootcamp, but still feel incompetent. You hope to become a pro after this course or the next course or the one after that, but you still feel like you are just not there yet. Let's try to understand why this is possible and how to fix it. First of all, here is the bit of truth. Your favorite coding tutorials are not real and they have nothing to do with how coding is done in real life. Surprised? Have you ever seen the behind the scenes cuts of a movie? That is when you realize that an actor had to repeat the same line 20 times. Music was added, lights were fixed and so it looks, well, flawless. You would probably see something similar if only you could peek at what was behind the coding lesson. The author of the coding lesson tried it out with the camera off before diving into it. When the code was broken or they didn't know what to do, a search came in help. The raw footage of what coding process really is was cut off because everything mentioned in the tutorials was meant to be perfect. Your teacher wants the course to go smoothly so you could enjoy it. That is not how coding is done. I use the internet all the time as a professional developer. No joke, sometimes it takes 80% of my time. Every minute of my life I get stuck on problems. My peers and I don't know a lot of things. The coding process never goes from point A to point B in a straight line. It is more like a puzzle. You try new things, you realize that something isn't where it should be, you take breaks regularly to make sure you won't smash your screen. Maybe you are still not able to code because you are aiming too high. You have a fairy tale image of what your coding skills should look like, but you can never reach that goal because it is simply non-existent. You tricked your own mind. We are not very good at chasing things. Why would you want to change yourself if you feel good in your own shoes? The learning process for many new developers has been ruined by this behavior and expectations. You don't want to face the pain of not knowing. Okay, nobody wants to. You rely on online resources. You go through hundreds of them and think you are productive because you are writing code. The process of learning though is not the same as it normally is portrayed by the coding tutorials. You have to do a leap of faith to master something. You need to be confident in your ability to learn, to find solutions and apply them when you need them. And don't get me wrong, there is no other way around it. Positive changes can be brought about by temporary painful experiences. And it's not just about coding. The pain of working out today means a better body tomorrow. And the pain of not knowing something today will lead to mastery tomorrow. There is only one way out of this feeling of incompetence and into a true mastery of software development and that is to write code on your own. You have to make stuff from the ground up. This is what coding is all about. Problem solving is what this is. You don't need someone to tell you how to solve a coding problem. You need to solve it yourself. The purpose of studying theory is to use it as a self-monitoring tool and the rest is practice. If you don't know how to create a while loop, search for it. Yeah, look up the instructions. When writing a while loop, you can now self-monitor yourself to see if you are doing it correctly, if you know the theory behind it. Go straight into the code, practice the while loop and write a lot of them. I hope you get the point. You could hire the best coder in the world as your mentor, but you would still be a beginner if you don't put the practice hours in by yourself. 
The scope of the mentor is to keep an eye on your coding process to see if you are doing it right or wrong. Is it possible to become a professional developer after following instructions in coding tutorials? Well, yes, eventually you will succeed. You'll build a portfolio of projects, do a little preparation for the coding interview and you might get the job. But ask yourself this, if you don't put the proper sweat into your skills, what impact will you have in your profession? And as a conclusion, here is a simple thought, yet we tend to forget about it. It deserves to be printed out and pinned to the wall you stare at the most. You have to play the piano to become a great pianist and you have to build stuff to become a great developer. After a long time trying to learn to code, look at your learning process. Did you follow a bunch of instructions or did you build on your own? Did you ever go through the initial pain process that leads to mastery with time? Feel free to share your experience and answer these questions in the comments section below. That was V, please give this video Empress thumbs up, toll the bell and subscribe. Thank you and goodbye.